My name is Marquita Speller. I started my career as an English teacher in the New York City Department of Education and worked there for a few years before becoming an assistant principal. I worked out on Staten Island and I worked in Brooklyn, New York as an assistant principal for a few years. After leaving Brooklyn, I had the opportunity to spend a few years working at the Harlem Children's Zone. And when I started there, I started as the assistant principal for the high school and then became the high school principal. I had the advantage of working with a phenomenal group of young people, phenomenal group of staff members, and we graduated the first cohort of students from Promise Academy. Our students all graduated on time, all ended up going to college, and that, that was a great experience for me as a leader. But I learned so many lessons, and I really started to have uh, a lot of thoughts about what brought me to working in this field. So I grew up in a place where people People did not all have the same access, and equity was not something that people talked about. So I wanted to make sure that I stepped into this field and that I became an educator to provide equity and access to students who look like me and come from a community like mine. So my work in Harlem and in Brooklyn specifically gave me an opportunity to work with young people who had a very similar background to mine. And it was really important to me to make sure that those students had an excellent education, not just academic, but to make sure that they had a voice and that they developed a sense of agency and that they knew that they were important and that they had the skill set to really be successful at that next level. It's my belief as an educator that students have to have a voice and students have to develop agency. If we want our students, our young people to be successful, if our goal is to make sure that they are citizens who can contribute to this world, then it's our job as the teachers in their lives and as the educators in their lives to make sure that they are equipped with everything that they need. The work that I do now is helping school leaders and community members provide equity and access to students who are traditionally underserved. The main reason that I stepped into this role as an educator and made this conscious decision to work in communities like the one that I grew up in is because I know that if we're able to level the playing field specifically for students of color and specifically for students of color who have historically been underserved, then they will have a greater opportunity at success. And if, we, if we're working to make sure that all students in our society have that access, then we have to change some of the things that we're doing. We have to reimagine the experience that our students are having in the school system that was set up to reproduce exactly what is already happening in society. And if that's the case, then we can't keep doing things the same way. We have to reimagine the experience that our students are having specifically at the high school level. We have to give them the skills that they need to be successful as adults in this world. Mm -hmm.